Hi, my name is Marisa and I've been using the VZ Art Paris Edit Palette for the last two weeks as well as the new Moisture Boost Lip Shines and in this video I would like to share with you some details about these products, swatches, show you how I got this look and finally tell you my opinion about them. So if you are interested in this content, just keep on watching. First, I would like to start by thanking you for tuning in to this video and to apologize to my subscribers for having been away for so long. This beginning of the year has been quite eventful and not altogether happily. So I had to take some days away, but now I'm back and I'm going to try to upload as a minimum of two videos per week, although I cannot assure the days. Viziart is a professional makeup brand particularly known for the quality of their eyeshadows, namely the mattes, which are a little bit more on the powdery side, but very pigmented and very easy to blend, even for me, which, as you know, I'm not a makeup artist. They have different sizes of eyeshadow palettes. Two of them are clearly targeting the makeup artist market. They are called the Pro and the Grand Pro palettes. And then they have four other smaller sizes the season type palettes with nine eyeshadows, the Petit Pro with eight eyeshadows, the Edit palettes with 12 eyeshadows and the Theory palettes with six. My first palette from Viseart was actually a Theory palette, the Amethyst. It comes in a very tiny packaging, a sleeve type packaging which has the size roughly of a card and the palette has a flap like packaging type magnetic closure with a small mirror it's a good quality mirror personally I don't use the mirrors on palettes but that is a very personal choice with protection plastic and a mixture of matte eyeshadows and metallic eyeshadows. This one, the Amethyst, is, let's say poetically, a symphony in violet and purple colors. I really think that the old Viseart palettes with this packaging, which has a genius design, are perfect for the day-to-day -day use and for traveling. They are small, compact, light, they don't have art plastics that can break easily. The eyeshadows have a good mixture of the mattes and metallics. They can be switched and mix as you want. It's just perfect. The latest addition to the edit palettes is the Paris Edit, which also has the same type of packaging, the mirror and the eyeshadows, which in the Edit palettes are, as I said previously, 12. The size is not much different from the Theory palettes, but because the number of the eyeshadows is bigger, the size is smaller, obviously. And I can hear you thinking, Marisa, you are not really a pink girl, so why did you got that palette? And the answer is because I loved the color history. I thought it was so pretty, soft, romantic. And uh, in order to justify its purchase, I said to myself, well, you have here a violet, which you obviously love, and a grey, perfect. And these warmer eyeshadows are not really that much warm, 
so perhaps you will be able to pull them out. I'm going to swatch them now for you. I have used them all now and they have the quality expected from VZ Art. They are very pigmented, they blend beautifully. You can expect fallout on the metallic eyeshadows. Personally, I don't have a problem with it. I normally use high masks, gel eye masks on my under eye area when I'm applying eyeshadow. I believe in multitasking and I just take them off after applying the eyeshadow. You can see on my Instagram a photo using the more warm ones and on the video where I show the shades that I have from, from the Moisture Boost um, lip shines I have another look using more the, the violet tones and taking that in consideration I'm going to show you now how I got this look to start I'm going to apply this light shade on my crease and up to my eyebrow And now I'm going to use this dusty rose on the crease I'm going to use the tiniest amount of this plum just to make the shade on my crease a little bit more intense Now, I'm going to use this small brush and go into the gray and apply it on the outside corner. There is a little bit of fallout with the metallic gray but nothing extraordinary I had also noticed previously with these two shades now I'm going to use this brush and apply the light pink all over the inner half of my lid just to mix it with the gray and now I'm going to use a little bit of this light gold just in the inner corner just because I want to use it as well it's a very soft gold like this and now with the angled brush to put the gray on top of it I hope to give it a defined but still soft look mm. I'm going to curve my eyelashes mascara I'm going to place my concealer and I'll be right back this is the final look I've used the gray eyeshadow 
to define the bottom eyelashes and I'm testing out a new mascara this is from Clinique it has the most minuscule brush just specific for the bottom eyelashes and it works marvelously um, I have very few bottom eyelashes and they are not as dark as my hair so this works very well I think the name of it is Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara perfect I used the Dusty Rose eyeshadow as blush and on my lips I have the Moisture Boost in Fleur which is also a dusty rose color very close to my natural lips so what is my final opinion about these products let's start with the oil lip shines I really really like this the colors are very well chosen they are the ones that I have which are these three you can see all of them applied on me in a short video that I've placed on um, Instagram and also here on YouTube. They are very well chosen and by this I mean that this is the perfect transparent one. This is your lips but better color one <laughs> and it's practically my lips shade. This one is perfect for those of you that can um, use warmer shades. It's not the one that looks the best on me, but I can also wear it if I don't apply a lot of quantity. And I'm going definitely to get the, the Cerise one. And the reason for this is that this lip gloss is probably the most hydrating formula of lip gloss that I've tried. It's very lightweight, it's not sticky at all. It has a very good smell that I enjoy very much. It's fresh and sweet, but not too sweet. It's, and it's not vanilla-like. They describe it as a pear scent, and yes, I think it is, but a very sweet pear. <laughs> pear, pear, pear. Um, Pear. Pear? Oh, you understand the fruit pear. It has also oops, it has also a slight taste, but it's very 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 light and it's pleasant. Doesn't it's not the most long wearing lip gloss, but honestly, taking in consideration how comfortable and how moisturizing it feels on my lips I don't mind and I just take it with me everywhere and apply it the colors are so well chosen and they are sheer so I don't even need a mirror to apply this so very happy with it and obviously you have figured out already if you like this color history I totally recommend this palette even if you don't know Viseart uh, eyeshadows, this is a great place to start. And they are very, very easy to apply if you are not a makeup artist. And they are foolproof. So, very happy that I got it. And the biggest proof for it is that it has been the only thing that I've been using in the last two to three weeks. So, totally recommend it. And that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If this is your first time on my channel, thank you for having stopped by and spending this time with me. I hope you consider subscribing to my channel and pressing the notification button in order for being warned whenever I post a new video. Until the next time, Bye!